Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 26, 2022. Angelsouls444.com for personal readings. You can get an angelic reading or an Akashic Records reading. And I also want to say thank you so much to everybody who supports me on Patreon, especially through everything we've been through in the past two years. It has been my Patreon supporters that have really made this possible and helped me get through. So <laughs> very, very, very special thank you to everybody. If you want to support me on Patreon as well, the link is in the description box below. All right. Oh, we got two of them for today. So we have first quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. Yes, so not being thrown off by other people's uh, games, basically. And first quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe. Look at that. First quarter moon and first quarter moon. That is interesting, isn't it? So this is saying, you know, just stay the course. <laughs> stay the course and don't get wound up in what other people are doing. Now, here's the thing we have seen, we're human. So we have this duality consciousness. We'll go from one extreme to the next. And what we have seen when people are trying to trust the universe, they don't take action, right? The universe is giving them messages, but they're like, no, 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 I'm trusting the universe. It's just going to drop it at my doorstep and then I'll know, right? That's not exactly, that's overcompensating. So unleash your kindest self. This then are the people, you know, people tend to gravitate towards those who just pretend like everything is always nice always good. It's just, and that's very comforting. I, I, I admit that that's very comf comforting, but is it relatable? Or do you ever find yourself going, am I a bad person because I got upset about something awful that happened today? Because this person seems happy no matter what. And I know stuff's happening to them too. So I must be a lesser person for getting upset. I believe I said it in the weekly. Yes, we're, and I said it here, we're a duality consciousness, okay? We incarnate to understand various emotions. So when people go into denial and they're just avoiding and they're not facing things, right? They're not being balanced. They're not being here in the center. Chances are pretty good. Listen, hey, yo, I'm not in charge of their soul, so I don't know what's going to happen. But if I had to guess, I would say they're probably going to have to reincarnate and maybe hit some pretty rough lessons again so that they learn to not avoid right? And, and live from that space, but to face things head on with strength, grace, love, beauty, and know that no matter what comes at you, I can handle it. I can handle it. I'm not going to handle it with attitude. I'm not going to handle it by putting on my armor and scaring and intimidating and all of that, but being diplomatic, reasonable, right? I'm going to sit here and we can talk this out. I may not agree with you, but at least we can come to a place of peace with it. Yes. So again, bring in your kindest self and getting into that space of trusting the universe. It doesn't negate your existence as a human. Right? So as I always say, negative emotions, I mean, you're here to experience those. You just don't want to live there. Right. And it's wonderful to be in a really good mood and just feeling like you're again on a spiritual high, but now you're not grounded. Now you're not experiencing the things that your soul probably came here to experience. It's about being here. It's about being here. And that is what I tried to deliver in this channel. I hope I hit it <laughs> at least once in a while. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.